Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Happy Women's Day, first and foremost. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here and to support a movement that is moving towards the progression of women, especially in the tech industry. But uh, cutting to the chase, so gotta find dot it. So what we're gonna do first is that I'm gonna ask you a question before you ask me any question. And the first question, I think Elia set the stage for it, is that I'm gonna ask you, when you, okay, before that, how many of you in this room are users of Instagram? Please show me your hands. Wow, that's a lot of you. Awesome. How many of you in this room are users of Pinterest? That's great. Okay, so my question is directed to you. How many of you have ever seen yourself in the position of this woman right here while you're browsing your Instagram or your Pinterest? Has it been that you felt the emotion that this woman was feeling because you saw something that you really liked but you had no idea where to find it? You saw something that you liked but you didn't have the time or the energy to go looking for it, to surf on the web. Where is that item that I saw? Where is that item that I can shop? Was it for those of you that follow luxury accounts on Instagram and Pinterest that post Rolex watches, their mansions, resort mansions in St. Barts and their Chanel handbags? For those of you, you perhaps, some of us didn't have the budgets to afford it. My friends, you're not alone. Because if you are avid users of Instagram, you would be familiar with this. These are countless millions of likes, comments, and mentions and tags that make Instagram a 400 million monthly user strong social platform, what it is today. But you know what? Let's take a little bit of a micro look. Let's actually observe this Instagram handle called Inis Clara Fashion, one of the most, one of the, you know, the typical repost accounts on Instagram that post fashion and uh, luxury items. The average number of likes per post, 4,000, the average number of comments, 100. What do people say? Hi, Inis Clara, where can I find this dress? Hi, Inis Clara, what is the designer? Where can I find this amazing dress? Oh my god, I love this dress. This dress is to die for. Let's move a little further. To a more reputed account, Christian Louboutin. You would be familiar. Number of followers, 7.1 million. IG popularity, medium to high. Average number of likes per post, 90,000. And 800 people comment on this random photo of a black shoe and a white shoe saying, these are the perfect heels, I want those. I need those, those are my dream shoes, the white ones. This is data, black and white, that no one is really monetizing. This is raw data. And right after, I'm gonna tell you what this data exemplifies. Let's look at another account, Kylie Jenner, the mammoth, the, the one of the people that are driving Instagram and who, what it is today. Number of followers, 53.6 million. Average number of likes per post, 1.2 million. 60,000 comments. I swear to God, I've seen people start debates in the comment section of our pictures. <laughs> but if you see a picture of this, this random handbag, people say, that bag is worth the more than my car and a year of my college tuition, probably more. Hermes isn't cheap. I mean, I love the bag, but damn. People want this stuff, but can people, can 99% of the population actually afford it? That, my friends, bring us to the question. What I just showed you right now is just 0.00001% of the amount of purchase intent that exists on Instagram alone. All in the form of raw, unmonetized data. You can see the comments, the likes, the mentions, the millions of gestures people, of people complimenting the item, people wishing they had the item, people trying to find the item, and one day, hopefully, people being able to afford the item. 
Oh, and we haven't even begun with Pinterest. But what if there was a solution? What if we could make all of this visual desire of people actually a reality? What if we could give them what they're looking for at a price that would hurt the bank? Well, my friends, you're in luck. Because Gotta Find It does exactly that. Gotta Find It visually matches your purchase intent that we collect from Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, the web, and even real life. Let's say, sir, I love your outfit. I really do, nice shoes. <laughs> if I wanted to buy this man's shoes, I would literally take a picture of it. Or if I was browsing my Instagram and I found this dress, I would simply comment, hashtag gotta find it, and I would be able to see the inventories of retailers